Hey, 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 my dear friends, it's Connie again. And I'm gonna guess that most of you know the book, The Four Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss. And I know this title of this video is very negative and has a sort of victim mentality to it. And that's actually not me at all. The thing is though, and the story I'm gonna tell you is that the four hour work week ruined my life in the best possible way, all right? I'm not a victim. I don't actually blame the book for anything shit that came out of it. I did maybe at the time, but I'm so grateful that it did ruin my life. It made me depressed as because I learned so much. But here's the story of how I ended up hating my life and what I hope you can take away from this because there's a really important message in this that I would like to pass on to you. So back in 2011, I found the book before our work week. I was in my first real job at a PR agency as a, as a trainee and I wasn't making a whole lot of money and I couldn't actually afford the book. So I think I found a PDF version online and printed it off. And so I was reading the, the printed version of it um, on the train to work. And I was about a month or two into that job and man, I just hated working a nine to five right from the beginning. It was just, it was, it was a disaster for me personally. Once I got a hold of that book, and I think that was or is the case for many people that then go off, you know, quit their nine to five and um, build their own business and travel the world and become digital nomads and all of that. And it's sort of like the Bible, right? And so it was for me, it was my entry door into the world of lifestyle design and location dependence and doing whatever I want and working from the you know, most amazing places around the world, which is what I've been doing since then. And so once I, I read the book, I was like, oh my God, I'm hooked. I totally want to have passive income. Um, I just want the money to work for me basically while I sleep. And essentially I was completely obsessed with the idea of creating a life and a business that would basically let me do whatever I wanted every single day of my life. I thought that was the ultimate goal. And so I started working really hard to make that goal happen. Um, I started building my online business while I was still in the nine to five. And eventually after about eight months, I quit my job and went full in. And so I was working my ass off for, I don't know, maybe two or three years really hard. I you know, started out freelancing. I um, started my travel blog, Planet Backpack, which turned in one of Germany's biggest travel blogs. And I started making passive income, mostly through affiliate marketing. And then I created an um, ebook online course to teach people how to become a digital nomad. And you know, things were going pretty well. I was doing a lot of other things and teaching other people how to become professional bloggers. And you know, I was starting all these different businesses. Eventually, and this is now the decisive point in this journey. Um, so I was working hard, I made it happen. And then now it is the beginning of 2016. And I am living in Bali, I'm living the dream. I live in a three bedroom villa with a pool and a maid and a, and a pool man and living in paradise. And at that point I had separated from a, a business partner that I had for another business a few months before, you know, I just kind of really wanted to do whatever I wanted to do and actually reap the benefits of all that work that I put in to create a four hour work week sort of business. Um, and so I was, you know, making all that passive income. I was literally working four hours a week and for months and months, I was just enjoying life. I did a lot of yoga. I really got into surfing. I was just hanging out with friends. I was reading books. I was just like living the life, the Tim Ferriss life. And you know, I did that for a while. I was also going through some relationship stuff and man, I found myself in a very depressed place of my life and it just got worse and worse and worse. And the horrible thing was that because I was a travel blogger, you know, I was Connie the digital nomad all over the place and on social media, I thought I needed to keep that image up, you know, of me having this awesome life in paradise, being this, you know, doing the Tim Ferriss for a work week. And so I felt really, I was, 
bullshitting everybody because I was posting online of how awesome everything is, but inside I felt empty and I felt lost and I didn't really enjoy the life that I had created for myself. And I didn't understand. I was like, how is this possible? I did everything Tim Ferriss said, basically. And um, I'm now here in paradise and I'm still not fulfilled. Why am I still not fulfilled? Why am I still unhappy? Why am I so depressed? Apart from all the heartbreak. It took me a while. And then eventually, um, this is now maybe March, April, I had left Bali, I had bought a ticket, a one-way ticket to Costa Rica, and I started YouTubing. I started making videos every single day for a month. I just kind of made that commitment, I made it public, and I started making videos. And I realized through creating every single day and putting it out there and getting awesome feedback back that that felt really awesome. It felt really good. It felt fulfilling. So from then onwards, I started focusing not on just living the four work week to just basically chill and surf and do yoga and just to benefit me. I got back into a place where I wanted to actively inspire people and contribute to other people's lives. I got back into a place where I wanted to grow and I realized that by you know the way that I created this four hour work week life for me, I wasn't growing and I wasn't contributing. I was tired of being a travel blogger. I was tired of just like swimming on that surface of just telling people about traveling and being a digital nomad. And so I went back to asking myself these big questions of what do I really want out of life? What really fulfills me? And this has been the question, my number one question, basically every single day I ask myself, what is it that fulfills me? What can I do today to feel fulfilled? What can I do today to grow? And what can I do today to contribute? So the reason why the four hour work week actually ruined my life back then and made me super depressed is that I was leading a life of no purpose. I didn't have a meaning. I was, you know, just taking care of the bare minimum that I needed to do for my business to keep making that um, passive income, which was roughly about four hours, let it be, you know, whatever, six hours. And the rest of the time, there was all this time and I didn't use it in a way that would make me feel fulfilled and like I had a meaning, like my life had a purpose. And for me personally, uh, once I figured out that that's the number one thing for me of why I'm here on this planet is to figure out why I'm here and given this life, I realized the four work week is BS because it's really not about just creating passive income and then not doing anything and just like sailing around the world or you know whatever it is that you think in your head would be the ultimate life because it's not. I know a lot of people, a lot of very successful entrepreneurs who, you know, created their four, four hour work week business, making passive income, all of that stuff, but they're not happy. I have met quite a lot of people who are very successful at what they do and they don't need to work anymore. And that's actually the worst place to be in if you then don't know what to do with your life. I think I would even say that there's a lot of people winning the lottery or sell their startup businesses for millions and millions of dollars and end up being really depressed and frustrated and lost because now the big question is, well now what? What do I do to feel fulfilled on a daily basis? And so they keep chasing the next thing and the next thing and the next thing, whereas in the end, we just need to go deeper within ourselves and ask ourselves the really big question, namely, how can I feel fulfilled on a daily basis without chasing you know, big goals and, the, and bigger numbers and bigger businesses? I personally believe in a deeper meaning of life and, the, and with the work that we do, I believe that the best way to feel fulfilled is to do something every day that we're passionate about, but that also contributes to other people's lives. And Tim Ferriss has received a lot of criticism for, you know, promoting the four hour work week as the ultimate goal. And yet there's one thing that he actually mentions in the book, but I didn't get that until way later. And he says, the goal was never to be idle. The goal is to spend as much time possible doing what we want and that doing so it's not about not doing anything it's about doing what we want and i'm going to add on what we want that will make us grow and contribute and then here's another quote by ralph 
Potts, who wrote Vagabonding, another book that really influenced me back then. You can only live so long sipping martinis on a beach. Sooner or later, you will be bored. You will want to actually do something that matters. And I 1 million percent subscribe to that because that's exactly what happened to me. And in the end, the four work week, and this is what I'm so grateful for, it, and uh, the dilemma that it presented me with that, it brought me so much closer to really figuring out my purpose. And there's a lot of amazing benefits to creating an online business that makes you passive income because it frees up a lot of space in your head and in your life to then focus on things that might not be making money yet um, or to create a business that you know you're not monetizing yet to follow a purpose that you know you don't need to depend on to make a living and actually these days I'm a big fan of what Jonathan Mead um, a really awesome guy that I um, follow online he promotes the zero hour work week meaning that if you set up your life in a way that whatever you create and whatever you call work is something that you enjoy so much and you find so much pleasure in and you grow through it and you contribute then essentially nothing feels like work you know um, that doesn't mean that i want to hustle you know a 80 hour work week because i still believe in a balance but essentially the message of that is to create a life where every day the work that you do feels like so much meaning and purpose that it doesn't actually feel like work. Because work really only feels like work if you'd rather be doing something else. Does that make sense? And then something else I came across was the concept of, well, you can look at nothing as work, the zero hour work week, or you can look at everything as work, meaning, for example, the yoga that I do every day almost, or my meditations, or my vegan diet, or all my coaching sessions with my life coach and all of that, that is also part of my work because without all of that, I couldn't be doing what I'm doing. You know, I if I wasn't having the lifestyle that I have, if I didn't, you know, have regular life coaching sessions and, and all of these things, if I wasn't on this inner journey with myself, I wouldn't be making these videos. I wouldn't be putting any of that stuff out there. So it is actually part of my work. This is the reason why I can contribute in the way that I do and in the way that I try to do is because I'm doing all these other things that might not seem as work, but actually they are, you know, even the Shavasana in my yoga class. So in the end, the four hour work week, if you make it, if you can make it work for yourself and create a business with a passive income that you can run from anywhere, it's amazing. It comes with a lot of benefits, obviously. A lot of people dream of doing and having just that. You know, it makes you financially free and independent. Um, you can let go of a lot of the fears that you know you might have about how to make a living and having enough money every month. Um, it allows you to, you know, essentially decide when to work, when not to work, and where to work. And it's amazing. It, the freedom that I've created for myself through building a four-hour work week business, so to say, where I don't really have to worry about generating an income because it's I don't have to exchange money for time. I don't have to do client work and all of that. I'm so grateful for it because I love being able to make every day a day that is worth living and to be able to focus on things that are not yet making money. I'm grateful that I can live a life as a digital nomad. I'm grateful that because of that lifestyle, I can embrace self-care and a healthy lifestyle as much as I want and really have a lot of healthy daily routines. So the four work week, it's not about just building in passive income. It's not about doing nothing, but I believe we need to redefine the word work not as something that we dislike of course there's stuff you know within my business that i don't enjoy doing like anything that has to do with numbers i just really don't like doing it um but i don't want to i don't want to use the word work as something that is a chore i want to look at something i want to use the word work as something that i do to contribute to this world to other people's life to make a difference and for me to feel like my life has meaning and purpose. So the goal shouldn't be to only work four hours a week and to you know just have all this passive income to then do nothing. For me, the big lesson was really by going through 
several months and it felt like forever of being absolutely depressed and feeling like a loser basically because I had created this amazing life and yet I wasn't happy. And so the big lesson for me was to find a purpose that is bigger than me to find a purpose that is bigger than money. And travel blogging and teaching people how to become professional bloggers at the time just wasn't meaningful enough for me anymore. For me, it is about going out there and finding and living my calling. So yeah, me personally, the four work week did not make me happy. Maybe there's other people out there who love to do just nothing and be idle and just kind of do things that are fun for the rest of their lives. Um, for me, there's gotta be more. I've learned so much about digging deeper into, you know, finding your calling and living your calling. And I feel like I am in many ways living that. Um, there's a lot of things that I, I, that I still want to do, that I still want to create to fully express my calling. And I also believe that it keeps changing. So yeah, the four work week, it ruined my life. It made me depressed as hell. And yet it was the best thing that could have ever happened to me. So I'm interested to know, have you read the book? What do you think about the whole four work week thing? What's the sort of life you would like to create for yourself and you know, to be able to grow and contribute more? And all of that, whatever comes up for you, put it in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos coming up. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Much love from LA. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.